Okay guys, so we're going to talk about turgor pressure today. Now today we finished our gummy bear lab. Well, some of you did and some of you got a little crazy, but anyway. And the whole reason we were learning about osmosis is it's going to apply directly to turgor pressure. The definition of turgor pressure is it is the main pressure of the cell contains against the cell wall in plant cells and bacteria cells. It is determined by water resulting from osmotic pressure. Now, remember, osmosis is the movement of water, so osmotic pressure is going to be the pressure of water. So, turgor pressure is going to be dealing with what we care the most about, plant cells. And remember, it is that internal pressure that push against the cell wall. So, it's like from the inside pushing out. So, let's look at this picture of turgor pressure. Turgor is a force that is exerted outward on a plant cell wall by the water contained inside the cell. So we know after doing our phototropism lab, right? Well, the poor little guy that's all the way in the clear, he's very wilted. Well, this is what his cells look like. Inside, because he is not getting enough water, his vacuole, which is an organelle inside the cell, is shrinking because it doesn't have enough water. Therefore, it's not putting this internal pressure in, and so the plant starts to wilt. It starts to lean over because the force of gravity is strong, stronger than the force of turgor pressure. When a plant is normal and healthy like it should be, and it has enough water, the water is uh, pushing out against the cell to give it its full shape, which means it has high turgor pressure. So how does turgor pressure work? Well, let's think of osmosis. Remember, the definition of, of osmosis is the diffusion of water through a semi-permeable membrane. Now, after today's experiment, why did we do the gummy bear lab? Well, it was to show osmosis. Now, when we watch this video, this, pretend we had distilled water, right? So this isn't an exact rep representation, but it'll do. If we have pure distilled water, that means that all these little dots are going to be water. The green are going to be solutes. There was nothing over here. Well, inside the gummy bear, there's sugar, there's gelatin, there's lots of stuff. So there's a high quality of solutes. So what did water do? Water moved across the semi-permeable membrane, in, meaning it moved into the gummy bear and inside it because it wanted to reach that equilibrium. So that movement of water is osmosis. That is why your gummy bear was huge today. It was 10 times its mass and 10 times its size is because water moved into the gummy bear from the beaker. And so that is the diffusion of water. So how does this work with turgor pressure? Water is always going to move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Now, I would love it if you would pause the video and draw this picture because it's really going to help you. So water moves freely through the pores, and the solutes are the green like we talk about, and they, have, they can move across. So let's talk about how this is going to help in plant cells. Okay, hold on, let's go back to this. So plant cells have a thick cell wall which surrounds its membrane. Plant cells usually have a, a homogeneous water-filled vacuole, which is called the central vacuole, that pushes out on the cell membrane to keep the cell rigid and tough. If the vacuole loses too much water, it will cause the cell to become limp. If too many cells suffer this fate, then the entire plant will wilt and its leaves will lose their shape and strength. So let's look at a plant cell, okay? Here's where a job fair is going to start to come in. This is the main vacuole, and the vacuole is very large. And the whole function of the vacuole is to store food and water. But it does help to give it shape by applying that internal pressure, okay? So that's where we're going to leave off on turgor pressure today. We will go into it more after tomorrow's lab. So make sure you rewind the video. Draw some pictures, especially draw this picture over here in your journal. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.